Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? <laughs> Not in operation today. This was the platform right here where the opening scene was shot from when Cleon was prepping his eight delegates about what they were headed for. Walter Hill, Lawrence Gordon, Fresh off an underrated classic, Hard Times, the year before. You can hear that music playing now. In the following year, they introduced an associate producer on this awesome project. <laughs> and the rest was about to be history. Intended to be Van Cortlandt Park in the Bronx, in the movie, is really Riverside Park, Manhattan, in reality. That's where that playground-like structure, which may have been a podium so he could deliver his speech. Got a representatives of every gang in the city, well, every major gang in the city that was invited to the meeting. Wow, you see all these trees, still the same. Really cool. And that dinosaur park was boarded up in the background. Not exactly the Velociraptor variety, conducive with the tone of the movie. <laughs> Cyrus, the one and only man of miracles. That wasn't to be. Yeah, he may have overextended himself a little bit. See those archways there. 40 years ago, not much has changed in terms of appearance. Pretty neighborly. But yeah, you can see these trees are still the same. Amazing. People were all standing up top there, around the sides, in what was to be their first experience with the so-called one and only. And this is right about where Cyrus delivered his speech right here in the center at the conclave for the meeting that was intended to end all their disputes 
and form one giant gang to run the entire city. He was ambitious. You cannot doubt the man had a vision. Oh, and I agree, counting is fundamental, like reading. Once Luther, the lunatic rogue, shot Cyrus, everyone made a break for it, running in all directions. And that's where Thomas Waits was standing stunned by what had happened, which makes sense for his character because Walter Hill eventually had to fire him for his lack of participation. Here's where the cops were seen approaching the gate. Again, it's all supposed to be the Bronx for production's sake, but it's not. They eventually end up in Manhattan when they go to the, what's supposed to be the 96th Street Station but it's actually the 72nd Street Station. I guess for production's sake, once again, they chose not to use the subway stairwell coming out of 96th Street. They wanted to use an above ground station. And that's also where the cops approach the main entrance there. Just waiting for something to go wrong. Instincts. And if the police themselves looked a little too authentic, well, it's for a reason. Those were actual police officers and actual police cars. And the extras you see, the, the nine represented members of, of the gangs making their ways in the, in, in the intro shots through the subway turnstiles and whatnot, those, those are all paid extras. In, in costume for the movie but a large percentage of, of the gang members you see in the movie were actual gang members that Paramount pulled off the street just to be a part of this shot see Paramount was known at the time for putting out one low budget quality movie after another that was their that was their forte and Lawrence Gordon was able to convince Paramount to take on this project at the right price. Yeah, this is where they broke through the wall. 